Hey there, folks. This is Pop Culture. I'm Alex Pop. And man, how nice it is to be getting a new trailer after all this time. But technically, it's our second new trailer. Just yesterday, we got, we got just a one-minute trailer for the upcoming movie Annabellum, another film I'm really looking forward to. The advertising for that movie has me pleasantly confused. But here, we got a trailer for Christopher Nolan's new movie, Tenet, which could possibly be the most important film of the year. It's the first blockbuster that we're getting as soon as theaters reopen. And so, I really want this movie to do well, which is why I decided to do a reaction video to this. I, wanna, I want this movie to get more spotlight so that it can perform well and get the theaters back into business. And so, I would love to see this be the movie that does that. So we don't know a whole lot about this movie yet, but it looks like the premise is these people are trying to uncover a crime by going back in time, but not in your typical way. They're literally going back in, like, real time, traveling through time as it moves in reverse. That's the best that I can describe it, but it certainly looks really interesting. And uh, there has been some theories saying that this movie might take place in the same universe as Inception. Um, not totally unbelievable. It is being released exactly 10 years after the release of Inception, and the marketing looks pretty similar. Not to mention Michael Caine is in this movie, though he's in every Christopher Nolan movie. But as of yet, Michael Caine's character is not named, so who knows? Maybe he's reprising his role as Professor Miles. So, um... So, as of right now, it looks really cool, and I want to see what else we got here. So let's check out this trailer right now. All I have for you is a word. Tenet. It'll open the right doors. Some of the wrong ones, too. Use it carefully. To do what I do, I need some idea of the threat we face. As I understand it, we are trying to prevent World War III. I'm not saying I'm getting here. No. Something worse. I gather you have an interest in a certain Russian national. Why don't you bring me in? No. He can communicate with the future. Time travel. No. Inversion. Maybe it'll pull the trigger. I'm inversion. You're shooting the bullet. You're catching it. Oh. Well, I've seen too much. Well, we'll try and keep up. Duty transcends national interests. This is about survival. It seems bold. Bold, I'm fine with it. I thought you were going to say nuts. Whoa. This is where our worlds collide. How would you like to die? Old. You chose the wrong profession. Here. Hasn't happened yet. <laughs> there are people in the future who need us. We need a talent. We need to save them here and now. This reversing in the flow of time doesn't us being here now I mean it never happened. You want to crash a plane, but not from the air. No one's so dramatic. Well, how big a plane? That part is a little dramatic. Come into theaters. Yeah. I hope the fact that it doesn't mention July 17th means doesn't mean that uh, they're, they're moving it back. But, um... July 17th just happens to be my birthday, so for this to, uh, for this to come out and get the theaters back into business, it would totally
totally make my day that day. Right, so, um, still looks neat. Not, not a whole lot new in it, but, uh, but it sounds like they're trying to stop World War III. Does that mean World War III has already started in this world, or they're just uh, going back to uh, get information that can help them stop World War III? So I gotta say, it was definitely a smart move to bring this trailer out now, get people itching to go back to the theater. I mean, I know I already am itching to go back to the theater. In the last six years, this is the longest that I have ever gone without going to the theater. And so... Yeah, so like I said, I really want this movie to do well. It's it's looking great, and uh, and I gotta say, Christopher Nolan, not only is he one of the greatest filmmakers of our time, but he has such a respect for for the theatrical experience, which is why he's really been pushing for this movie to be released on the 17th of July. And uh, and so that's why that's why I think he he would really earn it if this is the movie that jumpstarts the theater business. I really want that to happen, so so that's that's why I wanted to get this out there. Do not miss this movie. Go see it opening weekend if possible. It looks like we're we're kind of on the decline now in terms of the virus here in King County. I I I would actually feel good about going to the theater now. I mean, we uh we just got a day without any new deaths last Thursday. And uh, so cases in general are, new cases in general are, are uh, on the decline now. So all that really needs to happen now is for 80% of movie theaters to reopen for Tenet to commit to its July 17th release. So we'll see what happens. And, and if all goes well, I'll be seeing this movie opening weekend and I'll be getting my review out there as soon as I can. That's a wrap. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this trailer reaction video. Like and share. Subscribe for more. This is Pop Culture. I'm Alex Pop. I was I was trying to do a uh, backwards like uh, pointing to myself with the with my thumb right there. Eh, whatever. Bye.